And for months after that, I looked for it everywhere. I looked everywhere. Even Oluwale, I'm sure many of us know where Oluwale is. We went in search of the passport. They said, if they even found it at all, it will cost me 400,000 naira to get it back. I didn't even have 40,000 naira. Anyway, one day, Daddy was traveling. So we went to camp to, I uh, came here to camp, beg your pardon, to pick up his baggage. And I just thought to say to him that I had lost my passport, but my passport was stolen. So he said, what happened? I explained that when I came back from South Africa, somehow it might have been stolen either at the airport or somewhere. So he said, if we pray, you could get your passport back. <laughs> I thought to myself, is, how does anybody even say that? So I said, well, yes. So he prayed. He said, in Jesus' name, you will find your passport. I said, amen. Of course, I promptly forgot about it. A few days later, definitely under 10 days, the person who stole my passport after three months brought it back. So I think that for me, one of the most important lessons in my life, especially in my work with God, is how it is that God truly is a God who answers the prayer, who answers prayers, and that he does answer prayers even sometimes when we are in complete doubt. But Daddy was the one who was able to show me that aspect of God, the supernatural, and I think that for very, very many years, I, who was uh, one who believed that evidence is the demonstration of things that you can see, the Lord showed me that there is such a thing as the evidence of things that are not seen. He has shown that his young adhati about testimonies of mm. this truly inspiring life and I dare say it's worth documenting. Yes, and this would actually inspire even A more lives. People, yeah. But we're not done just yet about this great man of God. Let's go back for the official unveiling and the rest of the story. Founder of Emza Pharmaceutical Limited, Dr. Stella Okuli, like unveils the book the supported by its 40 authors. So we're not going to unveil the book so everybody can see at the same time you see <laughs> the, praise the lord praise jesus Pastor E. A. Adiboye, his life and calling contains the untold stories of the celebrant's life from his humble background, his education, marriage, and partially his spiritual life. Pastor Adiboye steps up the stage to receive this pleasant surprise from his wife, who is flanked by their children. We are now asking asking Pastor Deboye to please come forward now. That's which we have been hiding for almost a year now. is finally here. And we want to say thank you for accepting just a day ago to be here without knowing what you are coming to do. Now you have come, you have seen, you have heard. So on behalf of myself, my humble self, and all the children God has given to us and grandchildren, we present this to you. It should have been presented at 75, but it wasn't ready, now it is ready, at the accepted time. Help me shout hallelujah. Yes, 
it is done. The assignment for now is over. I'm sorry, ma. Um, before daddy responds, how many of us want to know whether daddy has some pet, mommy has some pet names for daddy? So there has to be an expression of love. We are celebrating not the book launch, not only book launch, 50 years of blissful marital life. So all we are saying is that mommy should tell us a few of those names that she calls daddy and possibly say, I love you. Amen? Over to you, mommy. Pastor ID, why are you two? You are faster than. Wait now, there is another time coming. This, not... this one is just presentation of book, not a marriage anniversary. Whatever it is, all you want, I will do it, you will see. And he shows appreciation to all those who put this together.